Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do kind of like a first impressions Friday, Friday first, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the name. But it is for this product that a bunch of bloggers have been using and saying you now it's like their holy grail primer and they'll never use another primer. And that is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. So, I mean, I've been on YouTube for a while, and there's been so many things that have gone around and circulated that this is the holy grail. I mean, now we're at, we're at Post Shave Bomb. Hey, I was there during the days when, I don't even know, people were just using crazy stuff. So, um, there's been a bunch of beauty gurus and vloggers that have been recommending this and saying this is amazing. So, I decided to pick it up and give it a try. I got mine from CVS. Um, originally, it was $7.99. But you know those extra bucks, girl, they give that discount. But I've heard that at Walmart it's like $5.99 um, and you could actually probably get it cheaper too if you go on a certain day. So just kind of think about where you go. Right at it, I heard it's really, really, really inexpensive. So this uh, product it has no drying alcohol and the second ingredient is glycerin, the first one is water. So a lot of bloggers are saying because there's so much glycerin in it, that's like what's holding the makeup on and kind of giving you like that poreless, non-greasy look. Because I'm like, that's one thing I'm worried about. I'm oily. Now I have just moisturizer, I don't have a ton of moisturizer on my face right now, which is why I look super shiny. But my skin is oily combination. So people who are oily are saying that this is also working as well and they are not like, getting oily through the day and if I can get a primer that is, well I end up paying $2.60 with all my coupons from CVS for $2.60 if this keeps me non-oily throughout the day, yeah, I am so for it. I don't really care what kind of product it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is half um, on this side will be the Nivea Men Post Shape Balm and then this side will be my normal concealer or concealer primer. The primer I'm using is just a Sephora Ultra Smoothing Primer and it just looks like this. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it. And oh, by the way, so the bottle is 3.3 fluid ounces, so already is way more than you get a primer. This is 0 0.5 fluid ounces. So, and that was way more than the $2.60 I spent on, I spent on the Post Shave Balm. So this is what the product looks like. It's actually really nice. It's a glass bottle, which is really nice. Like, women's products, other than foundations, don't even come in, like, glass bottles. So I'm like, all right, men. I like that. Let's see. I've never opened this, by the way. So let's see. Oh, it smells like... It smells like that typical... Like, man scent. I don't know. I feel like every blogger says the same thing. It smells like men, but it does. And also, is it Nautica? There's like a, I think a cologne by Nautica that smells like this. Um, I've heard that the scent does not linger after you put your makeup on for the day. I mean, I don't mind it. It's whatever, but it's just kind of funny. And this is the Sensitive Post Shape Balm. They've uh, re-energizing and then they just have a separate energy one. And also notice Dove also makes a Post Shape Balm as well. If this does work, I'd be interested to do a comparison of which one is the best. So if you're interested in that, definitely comment below and then like the person's comment so I can see it. And if I like this, I will let you know. So I'm gonna apply it, I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and I'll check in throughout the day. Um, and if I can't check in, if I'm at a weird spot and I can't film, if not, I will check in back tonight and let you know kind of how it went, how it's going. So I'm just gonna start applying that on this side of my face. So, oof, the product is really milky, looks like this, very runny, oh I didn't even need that much, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way for sure. It feels really nice. It does get a little, it's, I feel like it's gonna get a little bit tacky, which, hey, maybe it's a good thing, it'll keep the makeup on, right? So, I don't mind the scent, like, scents really don't bother me, like, unless they're, like, super fake and artificial. And I know it's gonna end up, like, going away, so. 
And then on the other side, I will be putting the Sephora primer. Okay, so now that both of the primers are applied, Nivea is on my right side, and then Sephora is on my left side. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup, and then we'll kind of see how that's looking with a fresh application of makeup, and then I will check in throughout the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, so now my makeup is applied, and it's all done for the day. I'm just gonna be kind of bopping around and running around and doing some errands and just going to see some people. So I will try to check in during the day and then if anything tonight I will check back in and let you know how it's holding up. One thing I do notice that this is the side with the shave gel and this is the side with the Sephora. Let me just, okay, I just had to like close my blinds, um, not blinds, close my curtains. But so this is the side with the shave gel and then this is the side with the Sephora. I feel like there's a little bit more luminance on the shave gel side than there is with the Sephora side. I don't know if that has to do with the glycerin that's in it, which it should be, I think glycerin should make it more mattifying, but that's just something I noticed. Nothing wrong with it. I have no highlighter on today. This is all natural. Yeah, so stick around and then we'll check in later on the day. It is currently 12.27. So... All right, see you guys soon. It is now 5.55 p.m. And so it's been some time. I think it's been about five hours or so. It's still holding up great. Now remember, this side is the Nivea Men Post Balm Aftershave stuff. And this side is the Sephora Primer. So I'm gonna give you a close up So this is Sephora, and then this is the Nivea side. I mean, it's like turning out great. Um, I think I remember like, this smell took like 15 minutes to kind of like dissipate, but I have to say, I met up with a friend and we're just chatting, and I told her I was like, "Well, I'm testing out two primers." I just said two primers. I didn't say which one or what they were consisted of or whatever, and she immediately said, "Yeah, I know." This side of your face just like looks like your skin looks better on this side of your face. I'm like, that's crazy. And then after I told her, it was this Nivea post shave balm. So that's kind of crazy that someone else noticed it's not just me. Because I feel like sometimes when it's just you, you're just like, no, yeah, of course this looks better because it validates your purchase. But someone else also validated it for me. So, so far so good. Nothing like the, my makeup isn't like sliding off. My bronzer and blush are all still there. It's the other side. So my blush and bronzer are still there too. I don't look greasy. Well, usually I get like greasy around here and on the tops of my cheeks. Um, and then the middle of my forehead. So I'm getting a little greasy. That's on both sides though. So it has nothing to do with the primer. But yeah, so, so far so good. I will check in at the end of the night and then we'll just do a total round wrap up of my review for it. Okay, so it is now, oh, let me clear that text message real quick. All these things are happening right now. It is 10, 16 p.m. So I've had this foundation on pretty much all day. Just feeling wise, I feel, my, my skin feels great. I don't feel particularly uh, sensitive I don't feel like foundations on my face which is great and I actually haven't looked at it since the last time I checked in because I was in a room with no mirrors <sighs> nightmare it looks good so this is the side with the Navy Man post balm shave and this is the side with the Sephora I have to say a lot of my bronzer has come off with the Sephora primer. I feel like my, I feel like my blush is still pretty much there, but my bronzer and a little bit of my contour has actually come off. But, oh my gosh, you can see such a difference. But with the Nivea side, contour's still on, bronzer's still there, blush is still there. 
I don't look particularly oily. I also don't look particularly matte um, right here between my brows. But that was also pretty oily before, and I just didn't really want to apply a pressed powder because that would change the, the status as to which it is now. So, yeah, I need a little bit of powder, but on both sides. I mean, it looks evenly shiny, I think. Other than that, I think I look, all in all, I think I look pretty good. I think my hair looks nuts. That's what I think. So, my review on this is that it's pretty freaking good. Like I said, so I got mine. It was $7.99 at CVS. Then I had like an extra bucks rewards. So I got a, like $5 off of that and then another 20% off on top of that. So it was $2.60 for me. So it was quite the steal. If not, $7.99 compared to minimally $15 for the one I used. $30 usually for a primer. Not so bad. I don't mind the scent and I appreciate the way it makes my skin look and I don't like my skin doesn't feel weird in any way so that's pretty much it for the review if you have any questions definitely comment below and I'll definitely get back to you also give this video a thumbs up and comment let me know if you like this kind of Friday first impressions thing that I'm doing I'm just trying it out we're gonna see if it works out um, other than that, definitely subscribe for more content that I will definitely be pushing out soon. Can I say definitely anymore? Um, other than that, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one.